He's received a punishment no one else will ever get in, in British football. No one will ever get that kind of punishment. United, without Cantona, would be the nearly men that season. And it's Cole! Well, was that the big chance for Manchester United to wrap up the title? With a draw at West Ham on the final day, they lost their title race with Blackburn. A week later, they lost to Everton in the FA Cup final. I think the loss of Eric, especially when we needed to go and beat somebody like West Ham, at West Ham to win the league, I think if he had been around, it might have been a different story. Cantona, frustrated by the terms of his ban, handed in a transfer request that summer and returned to France. United feared they'd lost him altogether. I want to make an apology. I made some terrible mistakes. Last year, in a certain final victory, I only scored one goal. Against Newcastle, I put a shot three inches wide of the post, and at Wembley I failed to complete an hat-trick. I realized this behavior was unacceptable, and I promise not to make such mistakes again. Thank you. In the summer of 1995, Eric Cantona, frustrated by his suspension from the game, had threatened to leave Manchester United. His manager had followed him to France to persuade him to stay. I remember Sir Alex going to Paris, and I think that was a master stroke. I think if he hadn't maybe done that, they only he, they'll know what the conversation was. It's in this kind of uh, time that you, uh, you realise uh, well, the people are truly and uh, he has been very very nice and he me. if I am here today it's uh, because him a few more him definitely here. a sight which United fans had feared they wouldn't see again in the glare of the media Cantona prepared for his comeback I think there'll be times where he always just tempting again there's plenty of players do that. He has to live with the fact who he is. He's got to show maturity and a responsibility that that's going to prove that. Times were changing at Old Trafford. Ince, Hughes and Kanchelskis had been sold. It was a new look lineup with young, homegrown talent. They relished the prospect of the Frenchman's return. There was a huge buzz having him back. Um, uh, training with us and being with us and his presence in the squad was enormous. To have him back was like, yeah, the only way I could describe it really is like, uh, the ship having his captain back, you know, he knew how to point us in the direction which way to go. For players and fans alike, the wait was over. His comeback was against Liverpool, United's fiercest rivals. Here in the stadium that day was, was unbelievable. The return of the king give everybody a huge lift. We came out with Old Trafford and there was French flags flying everywhere because the talisman was back. He strolled out there with his collar up and his chest puffed out, and it was like, Yeah, I'm back where I belong. There, you know, don't panic, I'm, I'm here to, to win another title. Here's Catana, he's got to the far post. Butt goes in! Tavares has made a goal for Nicky Butt! It was as if he's never been away. That was the ironic thing. It was quite incredible. As if somebody had been away for so long and uh, not allowed to play, um, could come back and have the impact that he did straight away. Lifted everybody. Two goals from Robbie Fowler turned the game in Liverpool's favour. Rush at the centre. Fowler didn't need him. But with 20 minutes to go, Cantona created an opening for Ryan Giggs. But here's Cantona, finding acceleration. He's got Giggs with him. Penalty. It would be down to the Frenchman to rescue his team. Eric stage. Eric's the lead actor, and Eric delivers the, the best lines. So Cantona, 70 minutes into his comeback. Yeah! Two two. 
what way to announce yourself back, you know, scoring the equaliser against your arch rivals. Yeah, I think he's done well. It's his first game, obviously he's tired at the end of it, but I think he'll be well pleased with his performance. From that moment on, we never looked back. With Eric back in the team, we now looked like that really, really top, top team, which, you know, was, was back together again. What Eric did in that season, in that last three or four months, he didn't just come back from the ban, he actually went on and delivered probably his best ever performances for United. At Newcastle United, another Frenchman, David Ginola, was enjoying centre stage that season. Ginola, Grizzly screaming for it back. Ginola has other ideas. Those kind of ideas! Kevin Keegan's side were flying high at the top of the table. Newcastle played by far the better football. By far the better football. But we always felt that if we were in the running after Christmas, we would finish the stronger. When United faced West Ham, Almost a year to the day after the Selhurst Park incident, they were 12 points behind the leaders. Cantona's early goal would prove to be decisive. This is Giggs. Andy Cole. Back to Giggs. They pulled away from him. It's in there. Low shot goes for it. And Cantona has turned it in. We had a lot of leaders in that team, but he was a talisman. He was the one that could turn the key, he was the one that could break down defences, he was the one that scored the important goals. Now what's he going to do? There is your answer! The number of times he won 1-0 and then scored the winner was ridiculous. At the big times, big occasions, he was just simply unique. Giggs, it's Cantona! Amazing! Absolutely amazing! He's on a roll at the moment. Yeah, he's, he's started to play very well and he's, there's a goal look about him. He scored six in as many Premier League games, four of them match winners. The Frenchman revitalised United's title challenge almost single-handedly. There in that moment, you just think you're, you're nil-nil, you need someone to produce something special and it always seemed to be him. He was the one that created the, or indeed finished the match winning situations. And maybe because of the things that have happened to him that spurred him on to even greater heights. With two months of the season to go, United travelled to St James's Park for a top of the table clash, a pivotal game in the title race. By the end of the evening, Newcastle could have an emphatic seven-point margin or a worrying one-point margin at the head of the Premiership. We went to St James's Park. It's Michael. It's just an incredible performance. Les Ferdinand! Good save again by Schmeichel! And Cantona scores and we basically stole the three points. Probably you could point towards us winning the league and just know that there's that bit between the teeth at that moment that really is a turning point has gone your way. The final whistle has gone and Alex Ferguson's team have claimed the three points. Eric Cantona's goal may well prove crucial when the history of the 1995-96 season is written. I think that clawed the gap back to within touching distance and uh, give us the belief and of course knocked a bit of the stuff and out of Newcastle. I think if Newcastle had beat us that day then it might have been a different ball game. Cantona's final goal of the Premier League season came in United's final home game. Still Cantona! 5-0! The perfect way to finish a perfect afternoon for Manchester United. He'd scored 14 in 30 Premier League games since his comeback from his ban. As they saluted their fans, United sensed that they were close to winning the title. Angered by Alex Ferguson's mind games. When you can see the opposition not holding the nerve, getting emotional, getting wound up, getting angry, that's when you know that you're in a position where you're a position of strength and you gain strength from that. The final whistle, it's Manchester United Championship. With a 3-0 win at Middlesbrough, United reclaimed the title, their third in four years. A win here and an emphatic one that has nailed Newcastle into second place. For one man, the moment marked a more personal triumph.
Amidst the glory, the major story of a Frenchman who's learned to master himself without losing his mastery of a football. In that season when he came back from the ban, you would never say one player wins a league. But that's probably as close as it gets. The Premier Club in the Premier League, that is Manchester United. And of course we went on to win the FA Cup where he scores the winner with a minute to go. What a great what a great way to what a great way to do it. And Eric Cantona's comeback is complete. Manchester United has always been associated with superstars as far as I'm concerned. And the word great. And when you look back after 20 years, we had, we had one of the greatest. Well, Eric, you've given fans up and down the country a lot of pleasure this season. Thanks very much indeed. Enjoy your summer holiday. Yeah, thank you very much. See you next season. I will try to do better next season. Always like that. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much indeed.